What's up, my net soldiers under the lines? And guys, I just saw the Rise of Skywalker for the first time. I actually got a chance to get like a, a uh, exclusive first viewing type of situation. Um, so shout out to Max, my buddy, for helping me out with that. It was really cool. Um, usually, like I'll, I'll go online and I'll see like you know these big reviewers, Chris Duckman, uh, Jeremy Johns, even my one friend uh, uh, Austin Burke on YouTube. They'll do like movie reviews and like three years before the movie comes out. And I'm like, how do you, how do you do that? So that was really cool. Thanks again, Max. Anyways. So, um, before I get too far into this, this is just my, like, I just got out of the theater 15 minutes ago. It actually had to drive like three hours to even get to the place. So that was really cool. Um, now I got to drive three hours home. So that kind of stinks and it's already 12 o'clock. So yeah, that's fun. So before I go too far into this video, I will not be doing any spoilers. Also, it's raining outside, so um, if you hear little like weird audio noises, like clicking, that's what that is. I apologize for that. I just wanted to really get my first impression video out here. I wanted to record it and just see how it went. So I hope you guys enjoy it, I guess. Um, so pretty much, no spoilers. Right off the bat, I'm going to say, this is a pretty good movie. I liked it. It's not the best Star Wars movie, but I would say out of the sequel trilogy so far, it's definitely my favorite. Now, of course, that can still change because, like I said before, um, Last Jedi was initially an 8 out of 10 for me, and it's now not that at all. So, not that I necessarily hate the movie, but uh, as far as a Star Wars movie goes, it was just rough. And I think this movie does a lot to redeem that. Um, I will say, though, I was thinking about this when I first walked out of the theater. I think that if you liked The Force Awakens, you're going to like this movie. If you hated... The Last Jedi or disliked it, you're going to like this movie. Now, I think that if you disliked The Force Awakens, but you liked or even loved The Last Jedi, this movie is probably not going to be for you. Uh, you're probably not going to like it very much. I think overall this movie does a good job of appealing to not only just like sequel trilogy fans, but also original trilogy and even prequel trilogy fans. And we didn't really get to see that in episodes seven and eight, you know, seven and eight were much more directed towards the idea of the OG fans, you know, getting like nostalgia back, especially episode seven, but episode nine does a good job of, um, knowing its source material and kind of bringing back a lot of like prequel influence. Now I'm not going to get into specifics, but there is a part in this movie where someone shows up. I'm not going to say who it is. And it just like, it's so cool. It blows you away, when, especially when you're like, you never would expect it, and just, there they are. So, you guys are going to know what I'm talking about when you actually see the movie. Um, so, no spoilers. There is this one part in the film where it almost makes me go, all right, Ryan Johnson probably directed this part. Now, of course, I'm just, I'm just messing around, but it makes you go like, hmm... This doesn't seem like JJ. Now I'm not gonna say what it was or anything like that, but that was that was an interesting part. Um, sorry guys, I'm, this is like a rapid fire type of review. I'm not like I don't have a I, I didn't write anything down. You know, usually I record my reviews in my office, but like I said, I'm hours away from home, and I still got a long drive ahead of me. So I'm just I'm just giving my my thoughts on top of my head. Um, I covered pretty much. If you are a prequel fan. I think you're going to like this film a lot more than you did episode 7 and episode 8. If you are an original trilogy fan, I think you're definitely going to like this one more than episode 8 at least. Episode 7 may be like in the middle. This movie does a lot to um, make up for what episode 8 was. And regardless of if you liked or hated episode 8, you're going to notice that J.J. did a lot of course correction with this film. And the thing about that is course correction really doesn't matter anymore because this is the last film in the trilogy. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and say if something else happens uh, near the end that might hint towards the future. Um, you can probably guess what, what what's, what's going to happen near the end as far as uh, what happens with our main heroes. Like I said, you can probably guess because it is a Star Wars movie. Um, there is... Okay, th I, I'm not going to talk about this, but there is a part in this movie um, where it just it blows your mind. You just go quiet and your heart just wants to scream because of how awesome this scene is it's so good I'll, i'm going to do another review after this one after i see it a second time and after everyone else watches it where i'm actually going to be talking about more of the spoiler type of stuff but um for my first impressions review guys that's pretty much all i really want to say i mean there's a lot more i, I want to say but i gotta hold it back because I, I want you guys to be able to watch this review and get yourselves hyped so overall at the end of the day is it the best movie in the franchise no um is it the worst no. 
I think it is probably somewhere near the top to middle in like in quality wise when it comes to uh, Star Wars movies. I'm actually going to be doing my Star Wars ranked. Um, that's coming out this Saturday, so make sure to subscribe and turn notifications for that. And um, that's going to go in more specifics, like I said. Once again, apologize for the audio. This is just kind of like an impromptu review, car car side review I wanted to do. Just to kind of just, um, I parked here along the road. I just kind of wanted to do like a little uh, video on, on my review and, and my thoughts on this. So um, I got a long drive ahead of me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I guess that's it. Like I said, guys, in a couple days, I'm going to be doing a second viewing review and um, just to kind of let this stuff sit in my brain a little bit, maybe actually do like an actual script for this, like my other reviews actually do something for it so it doesn't seem so choppy. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more videos. Um, please, if you did see the movie so far, don't leave any spoilers in the comments. Let's keep this video and the comments spoiler free. So if you did get to see the movie early like me, don't spoil it. Other people in videos are going to do it, but uh, just let's keep it clean for right now. And um, I'll see you guys in my next review. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.